Hi, it's Lindsay at Applied Mortgage. I'm here with Alex Akers from Five College Realtors. And today, Alex is gonna help us learn a little bit about why it is so important to use a realtor when you're buying or selling a home. So can you talk a little bit about your role when a, when a person's looking to purchase a home and how you help in the buying process? Sure, absolutely. Um, I think one of the things that's changed over the past number of years is that people are relying more on the internet than they would initially. They're realtors, so they're shopping a little bit, then they're choosing who they want to work with once they find something that's of interest. And we want to validate that, but we also want to sort of redirect back to the, the basic steps of searching for a house. And that's, A, we have to get pre-qualified before we do anything. Because once you, if you start searching online too much, too, um, getting too excited, and you're not able to purchase the home, it could be gone before you get the pre-approval. I really appreciate that as a first step. <laughs> it's the okay. truth. It's absolutely the truth. It's making sure people are pre-qualified for a home. Mm -hmm. And then how else are you helping them with their their search. Sure, I think it's our, our role has really become, I think, more of a counselor to them, finding out what they want, how we can get that, and and we create a strategy to to make that happen so that it becomes a very stress-free process. So they understand this is where we are now, this is what we're up against, possibly multiple offers, and how do we create um, really a winning offer and uh, and make sure that the rest of the process is stress-free. Yeah, there's a lot of strategy, I'm sure, around yes. getting the offer together, Absolutely. submitted, and, and hopefully getting it accepted. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about how people typically find you here in the area mm -hmm. and what the first steps sort of look like when they contact you. Most of the buyers find us on social media, um, the internet, Facebook, um, and referrals. They're, those are a great source of, uh, of buyer leads. Um, I th it's really changed. I mean, people used to just call one person and rely on that. Now. We're often interviewed as being buyer's agents, you know, people really focusing on reviews and finding, you know, who's the exact right fit for me because who you work with does matter. Tell me about helping the buyer put a team together. Sure. I think you, you've touched on a really critical point. I mean, I think we look at, <clears throat> as a seller's representative, we would look at a buyer's offer as, as a complete package, not just how much you're going to pay for the house, but also can you come? Can you perform on that offer? Who's on your team? What's the reputation of not only your realtor but your your lender? And having a local lender is absolutely critical. So I know that, for example, I would see you at the gym or I would see you around town, and you can really say, "How's that going?" Rather than calling an 800 number and getting frustrated. Definitely, and you have a lot of contacts here locally where you can help set up the right home inspector, the right contractors. I'm sure if there are issues. Um, facilitating all of the different steps of the process through the offer all the way through the closing of the loan, which is great. When a buyer is set up with you to look at houses, rather than they're looking online on their own, mm -hmm. there are the MLS listing service and other mm -hmm. services that you can provide. So can you go into a little bit of detail on sure. how you help people actually find the right place in the right neighborhood that would fit their needs? Absolutely. So um, the multiple listing service is um, what's known as the MLS. It's the database that real estate agents use to populate. Uh, they basically enter their listings there and then they're syndicated on sites like Zillow and Realtor.com and whatnot. Um, I can send specific listings over, so based on preferences, bedrooms, bathrooms, fireplace, size of lot, things like that. And really, it helps to get the accurate information directly from the source, but also we can have a sort of a running dialogue through that MLS listing. Um, they're able to put feedback directly that goes to me. So it's almost like you're able to virtually tour a property without having to go through it. And um, we can have a dialogue about it without racing all over town to look at everything. That's great. So thank you, Alex, for being here with us today and teaching us a little bit about the buyer side of the process. Is there any, what would you say is the most exciting part of the whole process, just sort of as a closing question here? That is a great question. Uh, I think the most exciting part is things that we can't control, and that's probably a strange answer, but when we put all these components into place and it just works, 
you know, when you have your pre-approval letter, when you know you're working with a good lender, when you have a great agent, it just, you find the right place and when you walk into the house, it just, you're like, oh, this is home. And our job is to just put all those pieces together. Yeah, when you know, you know, right? That's right. That's great. Well, yeah. thank you very much. You bet.